on the battlefield of the Somme. This is the Commonwealth War Graves Commission Cemetery at Mayolt. One of those buried here is Harvey Butters. His headstone is no different to those of his comrades, apart from the inscription. Far from home, Harvey laid down his life fighting with the forces of the British Empire. Six months before his death, Harvey met Winston Churchill, then serving as a soldier in the trenches. Churchill later paid tribute to his friend after his death. He did not come all the way from San Francisco, only out of affection for the ancient home of his forebears, or in a spirit of mere adventure. He was in sentiment a thorough American. All his ordinary loyalties rested with his own country. But he had a very firm and clear conception of the issues which are at stake in this struggle. Harvey wasn't the only American who was already fighting before the United States declared war. Many miles to the north of the Somme, we can follow the story of another American who felt compelled to join the struggle. His name was Braxton Bigelow, and he was an officer in the Royal Engineers. He was killed in July 1917, and today his grave is here, in the beautiful Commonwealth War Graves Commission Cemetery called Cabaret Rouge. Braxton came from a distinguished military family. His father, John, was a famous US Army officer who'd fought in many campaigns in the late 19th century. Braxton's family visited Cabaret Rouge in the 1920s and came to visit his grave. He'd been buried here alongside many of his British comrades. And so for his headstone, they chose a proud, yet very simple inscription. In the early years of the Second World War, many Americans would once again fight for a country that was not their own. In this quiet corner of an English village lies one whose story has passed into his nation's folklore. John Gillespie McGee joined the Royal Canadian Air Force so that he could fight for Britain's cause. His poem, High Flight, was inspired by flying spitfires. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth, put out my hand and touched the face of God. These were the words reached for by President Ronald Reagan when paying tribute to the astronauts who died in the Challenger disaster. Words preserved forever on John's headstone. Harvey Butters, Braxton Bigelow, John Gillespie McGee. Three Americans who crossed the ocean to fight for a cause they believed in. The Commonwealth War Graves Commission is proud to care for their final resting places. <laughs>